Welcome to Last Epoch Explained. Now questing in Last Epoch is genuinely rewarding and fulfilling, especially in comparison to its contemporaries. The main quest is, ironically, one of the least rewarding quest lines in RPGs of any kind, and that continues to be the case in Last Epoch. However, the side quests are pretty ridiculous. Now in Last Epoch, you can be awarded with up to 15 passive points and eight sets of idle inventory slots by completing various side quests. Now most of these side quests you'll be able to complete alongside the main quest line and it's very efficient and convenient to do so. However, you don't need to do every side quest in the game in order to get that maximum amount of rewards available to you. Say for instance, you've been awarded with 15 skill points from doing side quests so far. If you do another side quest that would typically give you a skill point, it would no longer do so. All it would give you are all of its other relevant and applicable rewards. Same thing with idle slots. As soon as you complete eight side quests that give you idle inventory slots, you will have the maximum amount that you can ever get. And any other quests that would normally give you idle inventory slots no longer do so. And what the team at 11th Hour Games has done is put in so many side quests into the game that even if you essentially skip half of them, you will still end up with the 15 passive points and eight instances of idle inventory slots. Now this is amazing because a vast majority of those, you don't have to go off the beaten path. The most efficient route is right alongside the main quest. You can explore if you want to, but you don't need to. Now say you go through the entire quest line and you want to get started on the end game, but you open up your map and you see that you are missing a few of the skill points and a few of the idle slots that you would normally have had at this point if you completed every side quest you possibly could. Don't worry, you can always complete those side quests at a later time whenever you want to or whenever is most convenient and easy for you. Now as a quick side note, the main quest isn't completely useless. It does give you plus one to each stat point at the end of the campaign as we know the campaign in its current state, meaning plus one to strength, plus one to dexterity, plus one to intelligence, attunement, and vitality. After you acquire the maximum amount of passive points and idle inventory expansion slots from doing these side quests, generally side quests aren't so rewarding and so you can skip them. And the game even goes so far as to show you exactly the rewards that you'll get from completing a certain quest so you don't need to wonder or memorize or do any of this fancy stuff in order to figure out if a certain quest is worth doing or worth using your precious time on. I hope this all cleared up the questing system in Last Epoch and it helps you make the most of your time while you're playing the game. I'll see you in the next one.